Hi guys, this is Boy Binky. I'm back from another video. Today I will show you how to solve the lab SQL injection annoying attack to retrieving multi value in the single column. The goal of this lab is uh, retrieving all username and password uh, with in the column called user. Uh, let's begin the solve the lab. Access to your lab and make sure your proxy 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 is strong in the purpose suite and go to application and click in any category here and we need to determine is this uh, website is vulnerable for SQL injection and we add single column you see we have internal server error that means we have SQL injection uh, we need to determine how much column is contained the application we use the order by by one and comment the rest of the query and hit OK. You see, that means we have one column. And let's see if we have second column. Hit two. You see, we have two column. Let's test if we have three column or something like that. And hit three. You see, we have internal server error. That means we have two two columns. And uh, the next step is uh, determine. Uh, what column is content is strings value uh, we need to use purpose for that uh, let's turn the verb seed on and go back your your browser and refresh the page you see we capture our request and send this request for repeater and interrupt is off and after that we go to we use the onion attack to retrieve or to know the what column is contains the string value we use the query onion select null with the capital null and null again and com Met the rest of the query. Let's test the column number one. Hit the single column and A and select your query and go to your request and replace the old query to new one and comment your all requests and hit the control u in the windows and command u in the mac and send your request you see we have internal server error that means we forgot something not from from users let's comment comment our query and send back uh, we have internal server error that mean it's not number one it, column number one is not contain nothing Con in that contain i mean string uh, let's test column number two hit a and send okay you see we have it's uh, status of course is 200 okay that mean this column number two is content string value and the step two is use the single column to to retrieve our username and password we use annoying attack and union attack again what's going on an union an union select user name and we use that let's see we use single column and again and bus word from table user users and commit your rest your query and hit ok and replace in the previous query to new one and replace it 
and select it again or highlight it all with and hit command U and send the request okay we have our trouble here oh we forgot we don't have a space here space I mean something miss something let's back to solution oh forget something like okay, yes yes oh we forgot that no no value let's back let's let's replace it is it because we we miss something. Needs a no. The first column is no. And see again. You see, we have uh, source code 200. Okay. And not solve it. We go down. You see, we have a passport for administrator here. And select your password and go to your website available for SQL injection and hit administrator user and hit your password you found in the response and you see we solved the lab this video for today i hope you hope you for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel to see your new stuff and see you next time guys bye bye